one of the few drawbacks of my prized and precious Prada bag. Welcome to my channel. I'm Netta Manley. If you are new here, I help women just like you, women over 40, achieve confidence in their style and start having fun with fashion. If you've never had fun with fashion before, stick around because we're going to have lots of fun on this channel. Today, I want to talk about a topic that I am so passionate about, and that's bags. Um, I know that a lot of times for a lot of women, bags are strictly utilitarian. You're looking for something that's going to hold your stuff. It's gonna have lots of compartments. It's gonna have all the, the little features that you're looking for. And, and while it's really important, you really want um, your everyday go-to bag to be very practical, to do all of the things you needed to do, to hold all of the things you needed to hold. It also should really be beautiful and it should really represent your personal style and your personality and also show up in your color palette in a way that really works with your wardrobe. So I wanna talk about what those go-to bags should be. But before I stop, talk about bags, I want to talk about, or th the specific bags, I want to talk about color and size because I get asked this question a lot. So what color should you go for in your everyday neutral bag? I talked about this in my wardrobe essentials uh, video a little bit, but let's dive into color selection for your bag. So for a neutral everyday bag, you're going to want to go as close to your hair color as possible. So for someone like me, that would be black or brown, which is why my bag, which I'm going to show you my neutral everyday bag is black. Um, so if you have, if you're a redhead, you might want to go for that rust colored brown or any of the really warm shades of brown. If you are, um, if you have light uh, brown hair, maybe a dark blonde, you might want to go for that beautiful medium soft honey shade of brown. Uh, if you have, if you're blonde, you can go for taupe or you can go for a dove gray or even a cream. So as close to your hair color as possible is going to be your most neutral bag color. Now let's talk about size. I am petite, I'm 5'2", I'm small boned, but I love big bags. I also like little bags, but for an everyday bag, I like big bags, but how big is too big? So you really want to try a bag on and see how it feels on your body. You also want ideally to see yourself in pictures with the bag. That's gonna be one of the ways that you're gonna be able to tell if a bag is just over, too oversized for you. So my go-to bag, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, um, you've seen this in other videos, I talk about it all the time, is this Prada Gofra tote. So I can wear this bag over my shoulder like this, and I can wear it over my, I, I just love its versatility. I can wear it like this. I carry it like this a lot. Um, this bag is big. It's, um, and I'll, I'll take the measurements and post them below, but you can see in relation to my body that it is a larger size bag. This is the largest that I will go to, go for with it for an everyday bag for a a purse that's not a tote and granted this is a tote as well but this is essentially a purse so i really want to go no bigger than this um, so you want to just try it on and see what it looks like for you i'm going to share some specific measurements below but what you want to do is pull a bag from your wardrobe if you already have one that you feel is a good size for your body and I want you to take those measurements and I want you to keep them in a size chart that you keep on your phone because when you're looking at a bag online and you're about to grab that bag um, maybe it's on the real wheel and it's a designer bag you've always wanted and you're you're thinking about investing in it but you're just not sure of the size you have those go-to measurements that you can use and you can say huh I know that 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 bag size and shape is going to be a good size and shape for me so let's talk about shape um, you you are going to either look at structured bags or you're going to look at slouchy bags. Those are the two primary categories. In general, I'm a structured bag person. This is really a matter of personal style. This one is a little bit more slouchy than most of my bags, but you're going to want to keep in mind that a slouchier bag is going to have a little bit more give, probably a little bit more versatility because you can stuff it a little bit more without it looking over overstuffed. Um, a structured bag is going to look a little bit dressier, a little bit maybe a little bit more polished, a little bit more classic. So depending on your style personality, you can choose structured or you can use, you can choose slouchy. So going back to sizes for a little, uh, for a minute, an everyday bag should be big enough to comfortably hold your everyday essentials and no bigger. You don't want luggage when you're running around town. You don't want something so big that you don't want to reach for it because it's really, really heavy. One of the few drawbacks of my 
prized and precious Prada bag. Look at all those, that's a lot of peas. Um, is that it's it's a little heavy even when it's empty. So that that said, I still love it. I still carry it. I still cram it full of stuff, especially when I'm traveling. Can't wait to travel again. But I this bag is like like I said in other videos, it's like Mary Poppins carpet bag. You can just keep putting stuff in it, and it never is full. So I love that. So I will share some specific measurements in the description box for choosing a bag for your height and for your frame. You don't want it to overpower you. You want it to, to suit you, right? Okay, so let's get into the fun stuff now that we talked about, oh, one last detail, investing in a bag. You know I think that a bag should be a place where a, a good chunk of your wardrobe budget goes. If you buy a really, really nice bag, you don't have to buy it new and it does not have to be designer. It can be um, just a really well-made leather bag from um, an, a, a brand that doesn't mark their bags with their, with their logo. That's a very, very elegant route to take and I'll share some of my favorites in my um, in the description box, including a catalog where I've shared a lot of really great brands at different price points. But what you want to look for is quality. And so you want a really, really nice quality bag for your everyday bag because that's going to be something you're just going to continue to wear for years and years and you're going to get a lot of value out of it. Like I said, my cost per use for my Prada right now is like a penny because I've worn it so, so much. But again, what, wherever that luxury investment bag price point is for you, just look for a really good quality bag and you will have it for years to come. Okay, finally, we can talk about the fun stuff and I can show you the bags. So there are eight different bag styles here that I think every woman should have in a well-rounded bag wardrobe. Who knew you needed a bag wardrobe until now, right? You might not need all of these, but these are the ones that I recommend. The first we've already talked about, it's the neutral, dark, everyday bag. And um, the reason I say dark is because it doesn't show stuff, right? This is, this is an everyday handbag that you carry day in and day out. You can wear it with pretty much anything. It becomes your go-to. It becomes like an extension of your arm. You carry it so much. People knew me by this bag for years and they still do. It's one that I use all the time. So you want that neutral everyday bag. Um, okay, the next bag that you want is an evening bag. So these are gonna start falling. Okay, this is um, a, an evening bag. I love this bag because I just love the color. I love the ruffle detail. Um, for most people you're going to want, and I have those two, a dark neutral evening bag, and or maybe a light neutral evening bag. Another very uh, neutral evening bag, of course, is a metallic. So that's probably going to be your best bet. If you're just gonna buy one evening bag, buy a metallic evening bag in your go-to metal gold or silver, and that will go with everything you wear in the evening. Um, then you can add a dark neutral if you like. You can add a color if you like, but an evening bag, um, one that you can wear that will make you feel special for a night out with your husband is going to be such a, a great um, essential to have. If um, you wear your big bulky everyday bag with an evening look. Sometimes you can just kind of pull the whole look down, right? So an evening bag, such a classic and feminine thing to own. Okay, next bag I wanna talk about is a crossbody. This fun and colorful one is from Ted Baker. I just love it. I love the color, love that poppy red color. As you can see, it's my color. And um, I love where it hits, it's comfortable. With a crossbody, I do not like personal preference. I don't like the crossbodies that have the big handles at the top. I just kind of feel like they don't look like a crossbody. I feel like a crossbody should be streamlined. You want the strap to ideally be delicate in the part where it intersects with your body. You don't want like it to really push against you so that it looks awkward with your clothing. Um, but a crossbody is a great hands-free bag um, and it can, you know, it can be one that you take for a day of sightseeing or a day in an amusement park. Again, I'm projecting into the future when we can do all of those things. But um, since this is May 2020 when I'm shooting this, there's still a lot going on. But this crossbody style, a crossbody style of your choice is going to be a great um, everyday choice and a great practical choice. Again, mine is red. It's an it's a main color in my wardrobe. It's a color that comes up again and again in my wardrobe. If your crossbody is also your everyday bag, 
then you're going to want to go with a color that is most that is closest to your hair color for that everyday bag. So you might choose a tote like my Prada tote or a big bag like that for an everyday bag. You can choose a crossbody for an everyday bag, but whatever that go-to everyday bag is going to be for you, choose it in a color that's close to your hair. Okay. The next bag I want to talk about is a structured bag. So this is my favorite structured bag. It's red, no surprise there. Um, it's just got a great shape. It holds a lot without ever looking bulky. And I just, I love, I love this silhouette. So whatever structured bag, you know, like a Kelly bag, um, um, a box bag, and there are a lot of really beautiful structured, you know, even like a structured bucket bag. There are a lot of great structured styles available. It's a classic look. It's very ladylike. It holds up very well. And um, it's just a, a, a beautiful go-to um, piece for a woman to own. And again, this is a little bit more polished, a little bit more professional, a little bit dressier than a slouchy bag. So, um, a structured ladylike bag is an essential in my opinion. Okay, summer bags. I think most of us could use two summer bags and I'm gonna show you what the two are. First is a straw bag. This is a vintage straw bag that I found at a thrift store, the Junior League thrift store last summer for $8. After I had been hunting and hunting and hunting for a straw bag, um, and I found this and I absolutely love it. Like, look at this lining, it's beautiful, um, $8. So you don't have to spend a ton of money to get um, the, the items on this list but this this is just such a cute summertime bag. I really feel like a straw bag is it's such a straw is such a great neutral for summer first of all and it's just such a great classic summer piece. They also happen to be really trendy right now, but straw will never go out of style. So having a really pretty straw handbag is just a great fun accessory for summer. Okay, the other summer bag that I recommend is a beach tote. So this is a huge beach tote. It's just carries everything. It's super, super versatile. It's that kind of jute fabric. Um, but I have a ton of beach totes. I live in Florida. We use them a lot. So we have um, clear plastic ones. I have tasseled ones. I have straw ones. I have jute ones. I have um, basically every kind of beach tote imaginable. I have the ones that have that slick surf you know they're they're printed and they've got like a waterproof uh layer on top of them so a beach tote is a great everyday essential it can also just be something that you if it's if it works with the rest of your wardrobe and it's a little dressier that one's super casual it can be a great just everyday summertime tote so if you're not a beach goer and you don't live in Florida, you may want to replace that with a leather tote. My Prada is my leather tote right now, but I'm also in the market for a bigger leather tote that I can use as a shopper. So that brings me to my next uh, category of purses. A shopper tote is a great essential handbag that you can use um, when you're traveling, you can use it when you're running around town, and that's what it's for. So it's like the, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Um, I'll share a picture of that since I'm not holding one here, but a Louis Vuitton Neverfull is a great option for that. Um, but any kind of leather tote is um, a really essential kind of versatile item to have. I also really like the Longchamp Le, Le Pliage tote. It's not actually leather. They do come in leather, but the, the classic one is um, that microfiber kind of material with a leather trim. It's a great classic tote that will never go out of style. And it's very, very well made. Really, really good quality. Okay. Next bag I want to talk about is a fun, funky statement bag. I know this is over the top, but I love it. This is from Kate Spade. It's got Miss Piggy. Um, so you want a bag that's really going to speak to your personal style and make you smile. Kate Spade does a great job with this. Moschino does a great job. Um, the Lulu Guinness, there are a lot of brands, Anya Hinmarch, that do really fun, funky shaped bags, statement bags. You can have a lemon, you can have a pineapple, you can have, if you want a whimsical, quirky, fun um, conversation piece, 
that you can wear with an otherwise simple outfit, grabbing one of these bags is sure to start a conversation. Um, again, this may be totally not for you, but there is a statement bag, a fun bag, a quirky bag out there that can speak to your personality and really just add a little bit of interest to uh, a a wardrobe of basic essentials that we've been talking about. So just a fun additional piece. Finally, I cannot end a conversation about bags without talking about a clutch. This is a gift from a friend. I just arrived. As you can see, it still got has the price tag on it. It's from Anthropology. I love this bag. It's a beautiful clutch. Um, it's a great shape. I really like envelope clutches. I think that they are the most versatile. And this is sort of that same silhouette, it's that rectangular silhouette. Um, I like that it's got like a little handle. So it's a clutch, but with, with a handle. So you're not just holding the bag like this. Of course, I love the polka dots and yellow combination, but whatever go-to colors or styles that you gravitate towards, um, a clutch is a beautiful, essential handbag for women. So this specific clutch works very well for day or evening and that's one of the benefits of a clutch whereas you know some of the bigger bags are really more for day and some of the really tiny bags are for evening this is a great transitional bag some clutches have these um, have straps so you can wear them as a shoulder bag or a crossbody so I love that it makes it extra versatile. So if you're going on a trip, you don't want to take a big bulky bag or you want to take an additional second bag, um, a, a clutch slash crossbody. And both of the ones that I showed you actually work as both um, is a really, really versatile bag. You can you can do so much with it. You can tuck the, the strap in and use it at night as an evening bag. Um, and you can wear it during the day as your just go-to running around bag. So I hope that was helpful. Those are the bags that I think every woman should own. Maybe not every single one of these is gonna fit into your lifestyle, but I think most of them fit into most lifestyles and are just pieces that you're just going to reach for again and again. Again, invest in um, a great everyday bag. The rest can be inexpensive, fun, frivolous. Zara makes really, really great bags uh, and you can find great bags anywhere from Target to like I say always Target to Neiman Marcus you can you can find great bags anywhere but for your everyday workhorse of a bag plan to invest in that bag try to make it the best quality you can buy it secondhand if you need to don't worry about the brand as much but really focus on the style and the quality and the color so I hope that was helpful. I love talking about bags and I'd love to continue the conversation in the comments below. Tell me what your go-to handbag is. What brands have you loved and worn and um, gotten the most pleasure and the most use out of? I'd love to hear. And of course, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. There's a red subscription button. If you haven't pressed that already, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it, which will let you know when I go live with new videos or upload new videos, which is every Tuesday and every Friday. Thanks so much.